Hello, I'm Gary Sliman, President and Founder of Great Transition Strategies. Today's topic, paying attention to your attention. The leadership impact of your attention. See if you can relate to this story. You ran from one meeting, contentious meeting, personnel meeting, it was rough. Came into the next meeting, got there on time. You're starting it on time. It's on the budget, so they're going to need your attention at this thing. But as you look around the room, you see Julie, who's looking pretty glum. She knows you just came from a meeting with her supervisor, which was a contentious meeting, and she knows it was about her. Where's my attention in this meeting? Might not be exactly here. I, may, I still might be back in the room. I might be in a number of different places. Peak Mind, a book written by Amishi Zhu, a neurologist who is a researcher on attention, talks about attention in a number of different ways. First, first thing she says is, your attention is the boss of your mind. Where your, where your attention goes, that's where your mind goes. Three things she says about attention, extremely powerful, extremely fragile, and it's trainable. All right, and that's what we're gonna to get to. We're gonna talk about the trainable part. We're gonna get there. She also says you have in your attention, there are three systems, not just one system, there's three systems. One, flashlight mode, where you're focusing on one thing, one-on-one -on -one with a person, one-on-one -on -one with an idea, one-on-one. -on -one. Focus, alerting where you're back, floodlight mode, where you're gonna, okay, what's out there? What do I need to pay attention to? And the juggler. The juggler is the executive control moving you from focus to alerting to focus. Suppose you're going to a conference. You're at a conference, you're walking to this big conference hall, you see there's vendors booths, there's a lot of people around, like, oh, you see what's around, you're, you're in the alert mode. Oh, I wanted to go to that booth and see that company because my friend works there, I wanna talk. You go and you do that, so you went from alert to focus. Oh, I got time to be for this workshop. Off you go to the workshop, the juggler doing, doing their job. Those are the three modes of attention in work. So let's think about this one I talked about, this meeting that I'm trying to run. Where's my mind? I could be in the past, going over in my mind over and over again, like, oh my goodness, that meeting, I should have said, didn't do this right, so I'm ruminating over something. Or I'm thinking about the future. I'm gonna have to have a future meeting, we're gonna have this problem to solve, we got all these things we need to do. So I'm thinking about the future. I'm not in the present. You wanna be in the present. Okay, so now we talked about all those, all those different, different modes right there. Mindfulness has been the only, the only technique that she has found to help people train their attention, to make a significant difference. So what is mindfulness? I know you've heard it, and some of you might be, might be practicing it, but if you haven't heard it, it's really the ability and, and the ability for you, so mindfulness is, a tra is training, so you have the ability to be fully present in the moment. Fully present in the moment, aware of your feelings and other distractions without judgment towards those. You're there for the present, knowing you have other things and they're not biasing you with your decision. So here, I am now in this budget meeting and I'm not being owned by my thoughts, my rumination in the past, or thinking about the future, what went on. It's there, I acknowledge it that it's there. Okay, I let it go and don't, do not let it affect. Sounds, sounds pretty difficult, doesn't it? Because you know there's times where we get hijacked, whereas individuals, we, to we get totally hijacked for some particular reason. This is the ability to train for that. So let me bring two pieces together here. One, whenever you can, I think as a leader, we should structure, we should put the structures and boundaries in place so that way we don't have those kind of things distracting us. Times of doing things, structure, times between meetings. If you're a person that needs time to, okay, let me download, decompress after that meeting, let me capture some data, get it out of my working memory so I'm clear, I can jump into the next and ramp up. If you're a five minute person, great. 15 minute person, just know what it takes, know yourself. Now, what are you gonna do about mindfulness? What can you do to understand, to be, to be able to be fully present in the moment? I'm not gonna, we're not gonna go through any kind of class here, but it's worth something to take a look at. There are apps out there, there are YouTube videos, 
There are TED Talks that talk about, one, what it is, how to do it, and how to get better. And the good thing about it, it only takes a few minutes a day to actually get better at it. So I started this with paying attention to your attention. If you are in meetings, if you're in times and you find yourself being distracted and pushed and you are not fully present for those that need you, think about taking a look at your structure and take a look at mindfulness to help you be present when you need to be. Thanks for listening. Look forward to an opportunity to work with you.